Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. I am back today with a grocery haul for you. I've been back to Lidl and I've picked up a few items and I managed to get all of these things for £5.71. So I'll be telling you how I did that in this video with the help of a cheeky coupon. So <laughs> the reason I managed to get this all so cheap was because I used the little app and by doing so and spending a certain amount of money over the previous month, I was able to get a £10 voucher which I was then able to use in store on this grocery shop. So I'm gonna show you everything that I bought. I also thought I would show you a little bit of in-store footage. I wasn't able to get too much, but I did manage to film a couple of bits in store as well, which I thought you might be interested in. They've got some nice flowers in, and they've also got some interesting things in the middle aisle that I thought you might like, along with also some ideas for Valentine's Day. And then at the end of this video, once I've shown you the bits of food that I bought, this was just a top-up shop, to be honest. It's not a huge grocery haul, but I thought you'd still be interested. I know a few of you are interested in what's in Lidl, and I've also got here the good old Lidl magazine. So we're gonna go through this, and I'll be telling you what's in store from Thursday the 11th until Wednesday the 17th of February. So if you're watching this on Wednesday, what I'll be showing you will be coming into store tomorrow. So it might be handy, and it might help you prepare for your little grocery shop if you're going there anytime soon. So before we jump into the video, if you're new here, do click subscribe. I post new videos every single week, as well as doing my grocery hauls. I also do lots of videos about the home. I'm into my DIY and my upcycling, and I'm a bit of a shopaholic, so I do love a bargain and I always share those with you over on my home Instagram account which is Mr Carrington Home if you want to give me a follow over there please do don't be shy say hi I'd love to have a chat with you over there as well and before we jump into the video as well with Valentine's Day being on the way everything that I'm saying keeps rhyming <laughs> it's not deliberate I haven't written you a poem but I feel like I should have done could have made it extra romantic. I've got the roses out, so we could have done that. But I'm not deliberately rhyming in my sentences. I don't know why that keeps happening. I do apologise. It's probably quite annoying. <laughs> but I've got a couple of things to show you that I thought might make good Valentine's gift ideas. So I thought I'd show you those before we jump into the video, and then I'll show you everything that's in Lidl. But stay tuned till the end, because there's also quite a few Valentine's Day flowers and that sort of thing in the magazine that I'm going to show you as well. But the first thing I thought might be a good shout for a Valentine's Day gift. It's something that I've treated myself to recently, and I also featured these on Steph's packed lunch as well. These are such a good deal. So these came from Shoeaholics, and they're a pair of Kirk Geiger Brogue, but they also have lots of other really good discounted shoes on the website. So I thought it might be quite a nice idea for a Valentine's Day gift for your partner. Wait till you see them. I think they're really nice. The quality, considering that these cost me £19, so with the delivery, I think they were £22.50, and the delivery was very quick as well. So I was incredibly impressed. I'm going to link their website for you in the description box. But how about these? What do we think? I think these are so nice. They remind me of the Gucci loafers that you can get, although they, they don't have tassels on, but they're a very similar shape. I think the shape of these is very stylish. And they've even got leather insides as well. You know it's a good shoe when it's leather on the outer and also on the inner there as well. And then a nice sole. I've just worn them in around the house a little bit, but I can't wait to wear these out. Not that I'm going anywhere, but <laughs> I thought, they might be a good shout for Valentine's Day gifts. I thought I'd share them with you because they have got some amazing deals on their website, so I'll link that for you. They've also got lots of really nice women's shoes as well, also some designer options, and they also do a few nice handbags as well, so they could be a good idea too. Also, I just want to show you this fragrance as well that was sent over to me from L'Occitane. And they do some lovely fragrances, and this one I chose because I thought it would get us a little bit in holiday mood. So it says, a driftwood carried by the wind and engraved with Mediterranean sea salt hurled into the provincial shore combining a fresh facet of French rosemary and the aquatic note of red seaweed. So this is a really nice fresh scent. And I think this could be a nice gift as well. So I'll link this one for you as well. Fragrance is a lovely gift, isn't it? So if there's a chap in your life that might be after a new fragrance, I thought this one was really lovely. And it's got a really nice fresh scent to it, but it's also got kind of like, I want to say almost like a peppery, a peppery side to it as well. So it's got a bit of depth, but it's still nice and fresh for the summertime. So I thought that one was lovely. And so, yeah, I just thought I'd recommend a couple of ideas because I know that sometimes it can be tricky, can't it, to think of things for gifts for Valentine's Day or 
treat yourself <laughs> even better. And if you are looking to get somebody some flowers for Valentine's Day and you want to get them delivered as well, then definitely check out Bloom, who are a London-based florist that sent me over these roses, which are absolutely stunning. I've had a look on their website and they have got all sorts of different bouquets to choose from, some really premium luxury ones on there as well. But you can also choose options like 10 roses as well. They put a little card in and it says, we are a newly launched 100% sustainable small family run luxury florist based in London. And I've got a little discount code for you too. So if you want to use that, you can get 15% off their flowers. So I'll leave all the details for that in the description box down below. And thank you to Bloom for sending me over these flowers because they're absolutely stunning, aren't they? I love flowers in the home, so I think these are really fab, so I'm delighted with those. But now let's jump in and see everything that I picked up from Lidl. And then after that, we'll go through the magazine, my favorite bit. My hands nearly did that thing again. So starting off with some footage from in store, one of the first things that I always go to is the flowers. They had some new spring bulbs in store and also they had a really nice selection of spring flowers, including tulips. They've also got some Valentine's gifts in store. These love heart tubes caught my eye for only 99p. They also had two Valentine's Day cupcakes for £1.49 and some really fun Valentine's Day cards for 99p. I like the cactus style one. They also had some fragrances for $4.99. And they had plenty of chocolates. They also had the Easter eggs that are starting to arrive in store for 99p each. They had quite a lot of storage options for $11.99. And they also had air beds for $39.99 and quite a lot of sheets and duvet sets as well if you're looking for any bedding. They also had weighted blankets for $39.99, but I couldn't see any in store but they did have some aroma diffusers for $17.99 and men's pajamas for $7.99 which looked really nice and cozy they also had wake up alarm clocks for $19.99 and these table lamps for $9.99 each they had some kettles in store sandwich toasters and they also had quite a few storage options for organizing the kitchen including these fridge organizers for $2.99 they also had cutlery trays and draining boards for $3.99 and quite a few storage boxes in store as well this mini oven caught my eye for £69.99. It has a couple of hobs on top. Okay, so here is everything I got. And when we think that I picked up all of this for £5.71, I think we've done pretty well here. So I'm going to take you through everything and take you through all the prices as well. So this is just a bit of a top-up shop. And yeah, got some great stuff for £5.71. So starting off, we have the sourdough pesto veg pizza. So this is the char grilled vegetable and basil pesto sourdough pizza. I always love to get these ones. I like the vegetarian pizzas. It's got olives on there and yeah, it's just really tasty. Good size and a really nice thing to have in. And these are £3.29, which I think is really good value as well. And then to go with that, I got some naughty garlic baguettes. So you can get a two pack, two crusty white baguettes with a garlic and parsley spread. These are really nice. And those were 85p. Then I went on to get some of their Gelatelli classic, basically what I like Magnum. So you can get a six pack of those. Again, these are really nice. They also do them in mint flavor. And I think they had um, almond flavor as well and those are £1.59 and if you're short of space in your freezer just take these out of the box and you can fit loads of these in your freezer without taking up all of that space of the box. Then I got some of their Colombian Supremo roasted bean uh, coffee. This is strength number three, so it's not too strong. It says it's smooth with a nutty flavor. So this is a 200 gram bag and this is £1.72. They've got a couple of varieties of this one as well. But yeah, that's really nice to use in the coffee machine to grind up the beans to make fresh coffee with. And then I picked up another of these really large one kilogram sized creamy Greek natural yogurts that I've been having for breakfast. I find this is quite a nice breakfast with blueberries and you can add some porridge oats or some grains into it or whatever you fancy as well. But yeah, I've been uh, using that most mornings actually and really liking it. 
It seems to last quite a long time as well. And that's only 99p for that great big tub as well. That'll last me pretty much a week, I would say. Um, so yeah, really good um, with that one. And then I picked up some wine that was on offer. So this caught my eye. It was on the poster outside. And it's this uh, Sipa or Kepa uh, Lebrel. Uh, basically, it's a Rioja. Nice red wine down to the bargain price of three pounds. 29 which is incredible i think it was four pounds 49 before so probably not the most fancy of wines but i'm sure once that is in a nice wine glass and it's got up to a nice temperature i think that'll probably be delicious so i'll let you know i'll keep you posted on that one but i thought for that price it would be worth it a try and then i got some of the classic hummus i always pick this one up i prefer to go for the extra large tubs but i didn't see any in store so I've just got the 200 gram tub here, and those are 69p. And I got some British free range eggs, and those are 85p. And I picked up a sweet potato. So last time I was in Lidl, I actually got lots of frozen salmon, which I have in the freezer. And something that I like to have with the salmon is sweet potato mashed potato. So you can just boil this up, mash it, and add some butter or some cream, make it really nice and delicious, a bit of salt and pepper. And then I pop it actually in the oven. So when I make my salmon in an oven dish, I'll add some, maybe some broccoli stems or some vegetables. And then I'll also put a blob or two of nice sweet potato mashed potato. Sweet potato mashed potato, I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, sweet potato mash, I should say. And yeah, put that at the side. And it just all cooks nicely together. I put the tin foil over it all and it comes out delicious. So yeah. Um, I recommend a bit of sweet potato, mashed potato. And you could, while you're at it, throw a slice of Edam over it. That's a good shout. I haven't tried that yet, but I think <laughs> that could be a vibe. So you get 400 grams of the Edam slices. So you get 12 slices in a packet. So good for making sandwiches as well. And this is £1.89, which I think is really good value too. So yeah, I'd slap these on anything. <laughs> really nice. And so yeah, all of this with the coupon from the app came to the bargain price of £5.71, which let's face it, in a lot of supermarkets you would pay for just the pizza or just the bottle of wine or just the coffee. So to get all of this, I think it's brilliant. One thing to remember with the app is that your voucher will expire. So do make sure that you check the date when it's going to expire and get back into store to use it before it does. But there we are, I'll get this lot put away now. The little app also gives you a scratch card when you do a shop in there. So I'm gonna scratch that off now to see if we've won a prize. Sorry, you didn't win this time. Okay, so let's take a look at what is in store from Thursday the 11th until Wednesday the 17th of February 2021. So they've got the Valentine's Day flowers coming in first of all. These are on sale on the 12th of Feb, so a couple of days before Valentine's Day. And as you can see, you can get roses for £5, which is pretty good going. And they also have larger bouquets of roses for £15. And on to the pick of the week, we've got two British beef 36 day matured sirloin steaks 400 grams for 6.99 then we've also got some other meats all on offer here i'll just pan through them all so you can take a look and feel free to pause the screen if you want to you can also always check this out on their website as well but i know that some of you just like to go through the magazine with me and then we have the sliced curly kale this is what i always buy anyway and this is down to 49p which is really good we also have gala melons for 99p, green chilies for 35p, lemons down to 59p, I always get those as well. Mangoes, I love mangoes, down to 49p and also large flat mushrooms for 59p. I imagine you could make some nice garlic mushrooms with those. And then with Pancake Day on the way, we have lots of Pancake Day items here. So we've got the ready-made mix for 99p. They've got Nutella in store, a big kilogram pack for 4 99 We've got Canadian maple syrup. There's coconut and peanut butter, all sorts of things. Goober peanut butter and grape jelly. We've got obviously all the staples like milk, eggs and Lemon juice, if you want to go for that kind, it's only 26p. They also have a crepe maker in store for £24.99 and a non-stick frying pan for £3.99, which is really good value, isn't it? And then they've got lots of options from their deluxe range for Valentine's Day. They've got premium hummus, 
which I love the hummus anyway, so that sounds like a good shout. They've got Scottish mussels for one ninety nine. They have butter filled garlic dough balls for one pound thirty nine. I feel like you can't go wrong with those. Continental platters, there's beer battered onion rings, mushroom and Stilton Wellingtons, which sounds like a nice option for any vegetarians for one ninety nine. They've also got cream chicken and chorizo pies. Breaded Cornish Camembert, we've got uh, British venison steaks and Hasselback potatoes. I haven't heard of those before, but they look delicious. <laughs> and they've got a rosé champagne or champagne rosé for sixteen ninety nine, which I think sounds lovely. That makes a nice gift for Valentine's Day. Then on to desserts, we've got Hagen Dars. We've got the pralines, cream. Then they've also got premium ice cream, which is champagne flavoured. I'm not sure how I feel about that. They've also got red velvet um, ice cream as well. Might have to give that a go. <laughs> and they've got the Ruby Collection Magnums as well. So lots of different dessert options there. Not just for Valentine's Day. I mean, these would be really nice anytime, wouldn't they? And then on to the Valentine's Day flowers. These look really good to me. So we've got luxury mixed roses for £20. We've got rose gift bags, which look really nice for £15. And then a smaller bouquet of flowers for £5 with a little bear in it. And then they've got 100 roses where you can choose from pink or red for £30. That is incredible value, isn't it? And then you can get the classic dozen roses for a fiver. Really nice stuff here. And I really like the look of this one here with the foliage in it. I think that really looks nice when you break it up like that and that one's £25. Or you could just go for a classic single rose for £2.50. Now this looks good and it's something that I've been trying to do with the roof garden but haven't had much success yet. We have the bird feeders here. So we've got a ceramic bird feeder for £3.99, a hanging bird feeder tray for £2.99. I can't go for those because the squirrels just come and attack everything and go for it but Maybe if I got something like this, it would be a good shout so the squirrels can't get to it. And then we also have a squirrel resistant bird feeder here for £3.99. But these squirrels seem to get into anything I've noticed. So I wonder how robust that one actually is. We also have a window bird feeder for £2.99, which is good. Maybe for the front of your property, if you don't have a garden at the front but want to attract the birds that way, you could put one of these onto your window or if you're in a flat as well. Then we have a wild bird feeding station here for 9 99 which looks pretty good. One of those ones that you poke into the ground. And then they've also got all different kinds of bird seed mixes in here as well. And then a standard bird feeder here, premium bird feeder, sorry, for 1 99 They've got some dental care in store by the looks of things. So they've got some sonic toothbrushes, the Oral-B electric toothbrush starter pack, They've also got a mixer or kitchen tap for £19.99. Now, taps can be really expensive. I've been having a look at them for the ensuite bathroom for the loft, and that looks like a good price for a kitchen tap to me. And a mixer tap like that can be really handy, can't it? So that could be a good option if you need one of those. They also have a water jet flosser for £19.99, and then a shaver down to £39.99, and also a beard trimmer down to £19.99. Now this shower looks pretty good going. Shower riser set with shelf for £39.99. So it's got these separate hose as well. Now I'm actually quite tempted to look into this because I will be installing a shower in the loft. And that looks like a very good price to me. I might have to do a few comparisons and maybe check that one out. Then we also have a sensor soap dispenser which might be good for a business or something like that if you're looking for something slightly more hygienic and also a bluetooth bathroom speaker now that sounds like good fun for any of you that like singing in the shower we have an ear thermometer <laughs> a blood pressure monitor we have a wrist blood pressure monitor and also a nebulizer with nasal shower so some interesting things coming in store here we've also got some toys coming in from thursday the 11th so we've got a quick build model kit. That could be a good thing to keep the kids occupied with. And also Hot Wheels as well. And a Hot Wheels maker kit for £4.99. They've got some Lego kits here. We've got a Duplo or Classic play sets for £3.99. Character bubbles, including Paw Patrol and Frozen for 49 p And we've got character balls, including Peppa Pig and Paw Patrol, Frozen, 99 p Harry Potter... Dobby Talking Plush or Junior Invisible Cloak for £19.99. Then we've got some rock painting kits, we've got water magic, all sorts of different activity sets here coming in store. 
and some books as well. So worth having a look if you're after some new toys or some to put away for gifts. And they have some fitness uh, clothing coming in. So it says whether you're doing Zoom classes, runs or family workouts, they've got you covered. Now I've used Lidl's running gear before and I really rate it. I've got some that's a few years old in fact and it washes really well, does the job and I think it actually looks quite good as well. If you compare some of these items to some of the premium sportswear brands which can be incredibly expensive i think these are excellent value so we've got here like a men's sports top for just 3.99 shorts for 5.99 and you can see there's more options available as well and then we have a few exercise accessories so an ab exerciser i've never really got on with those things to be honest with you i always found that they don't do my neck any good so <laughs> i prefer just to do than the old-fashioned way, but there we are. They also have on-ear headphones for $6.99, wireless in-ear headphones for £24, that's pretty good value, and trainers as well for kids for $7.99. They've also got adult trainers in for $12.99 with barefoot technology. So that might be quite a good shout if you're new to running or just want to try out some trainers for some hit workouts or that sort of thing at home, or even just if you're doing some walks, they could be quite nice for that too. And if you overdo it with the exercise, they've got you covered because we have a back brace for $12.99. We've also got a knee brace for $6.99, ankle brace for $3.99, wrist brace for $3.99, and an elbow brace for $4.99. I feel like that's quite funny. They've popped that off to the <laughs> exercise page. I have been known to do that sort of thing myself. Go too hard too soon with the exercise and ending up needing one of these myself. On to um, home updates to light up your day, it says here. So we've got all sorts of different lighting options coming into store from Sunday the 14th. So these LED table lamps, we've got lighting strips. I've got some of those and they're quite effective actually. Well, these ones are slightly more expensive than I paid. I think these ones have uh, color changing options. That's why they're probably a little bit more. We've also got LED color changing light bulbs, which could be good fun. We've got ceiling lights for $19.99 and also light bulb three packs for $6.99. And then we've got these LED curve floor lamps for £34.99. Look quite unusual, don't they? So on to some technology. They've got a cordless upright vacuum cleaner down to £149. But I've also noticed that they've got a two-in-one corded vacuum cleaner for £24.99 which I think is a brilliant price. It looks like it's pretty basic, to be honest. I mean, it's quite small, isn't it? But if you are maybe a student or if you're looking for something for a small place, or maybe you have a area of your home that could do with its own vacuum cleaner, or maybe one that you could keep at the garage just to nip out and do the car with, I think that's pretty good going for $24.99. And then we have a storage ottoman. This is unusual, isn't it? I haven't seen one like this before. So this has six drawers in it. For twenty nine ninety nine, I think that's quite a good shout. Might be quite good for fitting shoes into. We have twin handset digital cordless phones. They've also got a cube ottoman, which they're stuffing cushions into. <laughs> I have that problem myself for nine ninety nine. We have a halogen heater for seventeen ninety nine. If you're looking for a bit of extra heat in your home, and they've got cotton rugs for seventeen ninety nine for the larger size, or seven ninety nine for a smaller one. It looks like it comes in some different colours and patterns. And then finally, the Super Weekend deal. So Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the 12th to the 14th of Feb. They have Prosciutto di Parma. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. Um, that's on offer for £1.59. They have Big Bites, Neo Cookies and Cream. These look a bit like the fake Oreos that I love. And they also have Toffee Holm. These look interesting. So Big Bite bars and those are £1.79. Muesli bars are on offer for 79p. And they also have crisps, the snack tastics, which look like pretty much like walkers, don't they? Down to £2.19. And that's pretty good because you get 30 for that. Wow. <laughs> and then they have a wine on offer. French Picpoule de Pinay, which is £5.99, down from £7.49. It's probably quite a nice one, that one. And that is everything. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this little grocery haul and a look at what is new in Lidl with me. And also, I hope the Valentine's Day gift ideas were useful to you as well, if you're after some of those. Let me know down below if any of the items caught your eye, if anything's going to be falling into your basket or trolley next time you're in store. I was quite impressed with the 
Bluetooth shower speaker thing. I thought that looked quite good fun and the price was good on that as well, wasn't it? And also all the fitness stuff as well. I highly recommend that. I've got lots of their running shorts, as I say, and also their running tops and vests. They wash really well and I can highly recommend those as well. So if you're looking to get a bit of fitness done soon, a bit of fitness done soon? Yeah, we'll call it that. <laughs> then definitely um, I can recommend those to you as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. All the bits that I mentioned for Valentine's Day gift ideas will be linked down below. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your week. I'm going to be back soon. I've got a few more videos on the way. Well, I've always got videos on the way for you, but I've got some already filmed, so I know what they are. So I'm going to keep them as a surprise, but I think they're ones that you're going to like. We're going back to an old favourite on Sunday, so I look forward to seeing you then at 9am. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!